everyone, it's Stephanie from Three Queens Resale. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for clicking on me. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. Um, I, I really do appreciate it as I try to um, try this new venture of YouTube. And so, thanks. Thanks for coming. So, just a few introductions. I am a full-time teacher. I teach middle school English, a part-time reseller, and a mom of two and a wife. So I'm super busy and I am now adding YouTubers to my list of things that I'm trying to do. So thank you for uh, joining me today. So today I am going to be showing you how I photograph um, shoes for Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and this is part of my shoe week series. So if you haven't seen the other two, I will link them so that you can go back and watch. So without further ado, let's get into the info. And also, as you're watching, please be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a comment below. And I've only been re reselling and working with shoes for a little over a year, shoes about five, six months. So if you see something that can help me be better, please leave me a comment below. I am really open to feedback and learning from others. And if you like something that I do, um, just let me know that. Thanks, and let's get into it. So first I'm gonna start off with a few of the tools that I use when I am photographing shoes. Um, and some of these are the same tools that I used in cleaning shoes that I'll review. So first I use my phone, I take all of my photos on my iPhone X Plus um, makes it really easy to airdrop them the, to my computer. Um, I do use my Care Touch leather wipes. Um, and if you remember, not every shoe um, was um, like rain underwater and things. Some of them were good enough sh shape that I just need to touch them up um, while I'm going. Um, next, I have my handy dandy vent roller because I like to roll cloth shoes um, and make sure they look good for photos. Um, I also have my Lysol um, with hydro, um, hydrogen peroxide, I couldn't remember, I had to read it. Hydrogen peroxide, just in case I need to do a la last minute um, scuffing and buffing. And of course my Lysol wipes. Once again, I didn't clean all shoes um, in the first video, so ones that I thought were just, just needed light touch-ups, I have this handy just in case. And of course, if I need to put a little bit more elbow grease into it, I have my mineral spirits. This gets everything off of everything and doesn't ruin anything, so I love this. Um, and last but not least, I have my car wash rag in case I need to clean something real quick, buff it up. So, without further ado, we are going to get into photographing some shoes. So I have a huge pile of shoes over here, so I'm gonna show you a few varieties of shoes that I photograph. So I think I'm gonna start with these wedges. Keep filling them. So I'm gonna start with these wedges. As you can see, they are pretty clean on the bottom, but I am going to take a Lysol wipe and just wipe them off of the bottom again. Well, for the first time, because I never did this before. Just wipe them off so they look and wipe them off on the inside. And there's one thing that I forgot to show you that I use, but I will grab it as I... Now remember, when you're selling shoes, make sure that you disclose that they are pre-worn like you should with anything that you're selling. And pe people are in... Uh, that noise in the background is my family downstairs. Sorry. Um, so, I this is a buckled Mary Jane wedge type shoe, so I like to make sure that it's buckled so that in the photos people can see that. And so the most important parts of the shoe to me are any closures. People want to see that the closures work um, and are in good condition. 
the toes, the heel, the back, the sole, and then just any other special features. So I am going to show you how the different angles that I photograph in. And we might have to adjust here because you know I'm pretty immature. So behind me, I do not have a light box like you fancy dancy other resellers that you might have seen. So what I created was um, a light table out of the tools that I already have. I got these two pieces of poster board from Hobby Lobby. They were buy one, get one. I think I got them both for 40% off. So they're like three bucks for both of them. And then I have a few other accents here. Um, I have this. This actually holds posters, um, but it works well for what I'm going to show you. And I have this sign, be the exception, that I sometimes put in my photos just as a little accent. So without further ado, so if you don't have a light box, if you feel like you can't do small items because you don't have a light box, don't. This is this generic setup is will work fine. If you go to my Poshmark closet, which is linked below, um, you will see that um, I have all my photo, photos are taken with on this table. They all have a white background. So without further ado, I'm going to start snapping some photos. So I have lots of stuff in the way. Um, like to have a straight on photo, but I don't want you guys to, I'm going to move the camera so it's more angled. Hopefully it won't have a crash. I feel like my boobs have run every photo. So you guys, uh, every video. Okay, so you're now looking at the table from an angle. Okay, so I like to get a head on shot and I'm going to take this out or an angled shot, and I just kind of play with it. I swear that my shoes are like white and stuff. So I'm gonna just start here, and I put make sure my camera is in square mode, and I just start taking pictures. So I tend to do a straight on. And I really like to focus in on the shoe, so I'll take that away. Zoom in and get the buckle detailing. And we'll get one from the back. And then I use my little poster thing so that I can, sometimes they stand up on their own, but if they don't, it bugs me when they don't. So I like to just hang them on this. And of course, I like to get the one of them from above. And then I'm done. So, as you can see, and I have a sweater on every time that I end up taking off. Sorry about that. Probably the same red sweater. As you can see, easy peasy. Then I just put those to the side. Um, so I'm going to do a boot. So this or a high top. So what I like to do with my high tops is stuff them. So I just stuff them a little bit. They look cooler. And this one, I'm gonna leave it like a little, little slouchy. Sorry, I got my bag. <clears throat> Same thing, just stuff it. And stuff it.
and I do not store the shoe stuff. I just stuff in the photograph. Kind of just mess with it so it looks however you want it to look, however you think is presentable. And pass a photo along with this. And these look a little ugh, but I'm just going to wipe them down a little bit. photos just so they now these aren't a shoe that I'll get a ton for so that's why they didn't get a lot of effort and they weren't really that bad the soles are awesome and condition of the sole is one indicator one that it's a good shoe or a shoe worth picking up um, you don't want something that's just really got a bad sole and wear some ugly and wore down because you're not going to want to spend a lot of effort. The key to making money is to maximize your efforts. So you don't want to spend a ton of time doing that. So, got that one done, got them all stuffed, push that stuffing down a little bit more. And then I'm going to take my hairline and adjust my body a little bit. Take another hairline and then I'm going to take my navel and take the toes. And then I want to pull these up so people can see the upper. And then I'm going to do the side as well. Something like this I kind of like to play with because it gives two different looks. I like lots of choices, so while I have the shoes out and on the table, I take as many photos, sometimes like 18, um, because you can use 12 on eBay, 8 on Poshmark, 12 on Mercari, sometimes they have more than that. And then last but not least, I want to get those soles. And these are, since the loops are not like that, they're perfect. So if I could put one in, and I do have another place for hairs somewhere. Let me see if I can get them and get those soles. And then we're done. We're done with the boots. Um, okay. Let's do. I know you'd like to stop putting, quit putting my butt in the camera. I'll get better. <laughs> okay, so these, another shoe that's in good condition. Um, these are a pair of silver clubs. They do have some bang ups. So what we're going to do, which is probably caused by their life in the bins, is make sure we get good photos of the 
this thing up to before we even do that we've got to take the label off inside now I'm gonna leave the size label on there because it doesn't look like these are worn um, I want it to shine with that. See this? I know a lot of people spend a lot of effort getting this off, but I don't. Personal preference, I guess. But like I said, people know that these are pre-owned. And so I don't think that matters at all. I mean, they can offer me whatever they want, and I will take or I will accept or decline the offer. Um, but they're still, the value in them is still there. Uh, that's a shame right there, sorry. So I'm probably not going to ask for much since they have, even though they're in good condition, they have some bang ups. See? Let's just see. Just making some mix on the heel and on the side. But it is a comfort shoe, it is a fun color. And somebody wanted to snatch them up in their size nine, which is a good size. So here, once again, the setup, side to side, side to side, the toe. Let's see, I think I can do it. Maybe I can do it with the toe. Maybe the front one. You get that buckle. There's an inside label. I like to get that too, but sometimes it's hard to get. This one we're going to try for. See, there's an inside label in there. If you can see right here, I think it is. So I'll try to get that writing. Even if I don't use the photo, it reminds me of the size and the contents. Like if it has a fancy name made out of. So those are all reasons I take pictures and I'm getting my photo shot. And then I am going to do the upside down. These have the straps in them. So I will do one more pair, and this is a pair that I did hang with you guys on. This is a pair that I did hang with you guys in my last video. So they are these, let me see, Sam Edelman Espadrilles. Just a cute fun summer shoe. So I'm definitely going to stuff this. So I have to take the stuffing out of the boots. Oops. Got to be careful with my makeshift table. We're going 
to just stuff the shoe again. And I'm going to try to push this up from the toe as far as I can so it's nice and full. And now one thing with my photographs, I always try to um, accentuate the positive, but also downplay any flaws. You don't want to ignore them or eliminate them or act like they don't exist, but you do want to kind of make them downplay them by accentuating the positive. So one of the positive thing these have going for them is their beautiful neutral black canvas shoe. So I want to make sure I can do a good job of making that start to the side. love that one. Now I haven't started using Tic Tac Go or anything like other resellers do. I just use the basic settings but hopefully I can uh, get to that level. Maybe an upper one. And you want to do from your head to your toes. Pause you for just a second. Okay, and I am back. Um, had a little phone call there. Sorry about that. So, as I was saying, I like to get the toes and this cute stitching. So, you can see that it's all well intact. I'm going to make sure I get the sole. I'm going to get this little tab here. the pink in this photo but I don't think it really matters that much and then turn them over it. So, um, tips to remember when you are photographing your shoes is that you want to highlight um, the toe, the sole, um, the back, and just what the inside looks like, and then any special features that the shoe might have. Even if you don't use those photos in online um, for the advertisement, it will help you when you are typing out your listing and you see the photos again, it will just be reminders like, hey, you know, this shoe has a little knob detail there or um, a stacked S with a little hill. So those are things that, uh, one of the, my tips. Another tip of mine is to stuff the shoe. It just looks better in photographs if it's a boot or a shoe and it looks kind of stuffed. Um, that if you can, sometimes with the sandals you can. And maybe in my next, um, photograph video, I will show you how I photograph strappy sandals um, that don't have, that you can't stuff. Um, and just experiment, like I, everything is an experiment with me. I'm just trying something new. If it does, I don't like it, I try something else and I encourage you guys to do the same. Um, thanks for tuning in and if you like this video or um, learn anything, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you did anything, um, or leave me a comment and let me know what I should have been doing different. I would be almost happy to do the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time.